Will the court reporter please swear in the witness and then counsel may proceed. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony or that we give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Trump. My name is Letitia James and I'm the Attorney General of the great state of New York. Before we begin, if everyone could please silence their cell phones, we would appreciate that. Um, I wanted to begin with some preliminary rules, some ground rules, sure. if you don't mind, and then I'm going to turn it over to Kevin Wallace, who will conduct this examination. Um, Mr. Trump, you've testified under oath many times, is that correct? Yes. And um, so I take it you are familiar with the ground rules on uh, for how testimony proceeds, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So I'll skip that part of the um, introduction, is, is that okay? Sure. Okay, and are, and are you okay right I now? Am. Okay, yes. good, good, good. What I will do is explain some differences between the procedures in a civil deposition and the testimony we are taking today, uh, because this is a, an investigatory proceeding. Um, you do not have a right to have an attorney with you in this investigation, uh, but I have agreed that your, your attorney will be present uh, today. However, this examination is not the same as a, a deposition in ordinary civil litigation, and your attorney's role will be limited to consultation with you in order to give you legal advice regarding privileged matters, if any, or your right not to incriminate yourself. Um, notwithstanding any objection by your attorneys, you are still required to respond to any questions unless your attorney specifically directs you not to answer. Anything you say in this, in, in this examination may be used in a civil proceeding, and that can include a civil enforcement proceeding or a criminal action. Uh, uh, do you understand that? I think. 